In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Gathered on this new day, we pause as we call to mind our sins. We ask the Lord for pardon and strength as we prepare ourselves now to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord of mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ of mercy. You intercede for us at the Father's right hand, Lord of mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, who through the regenerating power of baptism have been pleased to confer on us heavenly life, grant, we pray, that those you render capable of immortality by justifying them may by your guidance attain the fullness of glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Paul reached also Derby and Lystra, where there was a disciple named Timothy, the son of a Jewish woman who was a believer, but his father was a Greek. The brothers in Lystra and Iconium spoke highly of him, and Paul wanted him to come along with him. On account of the Jews of that region, Paul had him circumcised, for they all knew that his father was a Greek. As they traveled from city to city, they handed on to the people for observance the decisions reached by the apostles and presbyters in Jerusalem. Day after day, the churches grew stronger in faith and increased in number. They traveled through the Phrygian and Galatian territory because they had been prevented by the Holy Spirit from preaching the message in the province of Asia. When they came to Mysia, they tried to go to Bethania by the Spirit of Jesus, but the Spirit of Jesus did not allow them. So they crossed through Mysia and came down to Troas. During the night, Paul had a vision. A Macedonian stood before him and implored him with these words, Come over to Macedonia and help us. When he had seen the vision, we sought passage to Macedonia at once, concluding that God had called us to proclaim the good news to them. The word of the Lord. Our response, let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful song. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Know that the Lord is God. He made us. We are he. His we are. His people, the flock he tends, the earth cry out to God with joy. The Lord is good, his kindness endures forever, and his faithfulness to all generations. All the earth cry out to God with joy. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Alleluia. If then you were raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, If the world hates you, realize that it hated me first. 
If you belong to the world, the world would love its own. But because you do not belong to the world, and I have chosen you out of the world, the world hates you. Remember the word I spoke to you. No slave is greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they kept my word, they will also keep yours. And they will do all these things to you on account of my name, because they do not know the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today, as we listen to the Acts and the works of the Apostles preaching throughout many places in the Eastern Mediterranean region as they preached the good news of God to the people living in those places. Many people came to believe in God and asked to be baptized as Christians because of the work of the apostles. However, at the same time, there were plenty of problems as well because there were also solid opposition against them by those persons who did not always in, in fighting against them. And this was foreseen by Jesus himself, who in today's gospel passage told his disciples that they too would be persecuted by the world, by the virtue of being those who followed his way and obeyed his commandments. The gospel today speaks of the hatred of the world. It says, if the world hates you, realize that it hated me first. If you belong to the world, the world would love its own. But because you do not belong to the world, and I have chosen you out of the world, the world hates you. And so there were those who persecuted the Lord and rejected his message because of their refusal to leave behind the way of sin. And just as they have done such things to the Lord, they would also, therefore, do the same to the disciple of his will as well. And so the Lord Jesus told his disciples the truth about what it would really mean to be his disciples if they came to him seeking worldly glory and power wealth and influence, or ease of mind and pleasure, then they would be seeking these at the wrong place and the wrong occasion. To follow the Lord means that they must instead be prepared, prepared to suffer for his sake and be persecuted just as he had been persecuted. That was what the Lord Jesus told the people he taught, that in order to become his disciples, they must be ready to pick up their own crosses and to follow him. It is our crosses to bear, to bear the same kind of humiliation, the same kind of suffering, the same kind of persecution, the same kind of prejudice, rejection, and opposition as what the Lord Jesus himself experienced. And besides that, there would be ample temptations and persuasions through the journey of life and faith toward the Lord. All of us, as baptized Christians, also have the same obligation as that of the apostles. We have to pick up our crosses in life and walk in God's way, as there are still many things that we have to do. We have been commissioned by virtue of our baptism, to spread the gospel in word and in deed. However, as we have heard and seen, it is indeed not easy to be a faithful disciple of the Lord. There will be lots of temptations and persuasions for us to wander off and go off the beaten path, off the good path, and there are plenty of allures of worldly glory power, wealth, pleasure, and all sorts of things which will become obstacle in our way 
to the Lord. And there had been indeed many who went before us who could not bear the pressure or resist the temptation, and so they fall. We need to see the brave and courageous examples of those who resisted the temptation, all those apostles, holy disciples, all those holy saints and martyrs who in their own respective ways devoted themselves, heart, mind, body, and soul to the Lord. And there are the good examples that we need to follow so that in everything we say and do, we will always do them for the greater glory of God. And so the challenge for us is no longer to be passive, no longer to be ignorant in our faith, and let us no longer be lukewarm in our faith. Let us be courageous to stand up for our faith when necessary and be proud of who we are. For as Christians, as those whom God has chosen from this world with the hope that more will come to join us in glorifying God. And so may the Lord be with us always and be with our endeavor that through us he may call more and more people to salvation. We bring our needs before Almighty God. And so we pray for the church, we pray for Pope Francis, we pray for all bishops of the church, that as they continue to lead and shepherd God's people, they may do so by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. We remember all those who are suffering at this time, remember those who are sick in hospital or those who are at home, especially those who are sick with the COVID-19 and virus, that your Lord will grant healing and strength to them. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. We remember those who have asked us to pray for them and their varied needs, that your Lord will answer those prayers in accordance with your will for their lives at this time. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. We remember our country during this time of pandemic and lockdown, that your Lord will keep hope alive and that we will not be swayed from our faith in you. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray now for our own needs and intentions offered in the silence of our hearts. For these we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And during this month when we remember our Blessed Mother we ask her intercession as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Gracious God, we actually hear these humble petitions. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us our bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands with praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all his creation. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to so acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to lord you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, 
but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the Lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Patrick, our bishop, the clergy, and all those who minister to your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to sing. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the Amen. kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. With Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. For you, the faithful who are unable to receive the Eucharist physically, we now pray the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are really present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I hunger to receive you. Since I cannot receive communion at this moment, feed my soul at least spiritually. I unite myself wholly to you now as I do when I ask you to receive you. Permit me never to be separated from you. Amen. Father, I pray for them that they may be one in us so that the world may believe it was you who sent me, says the Lord. Alleluia. Let us pray. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray, those whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. I do hope that you have a very special, and beautiful, safe day. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Before our Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.